now the mechanism of wound production how the wounds are produced because the mechanics which are involved they are important to differentiate what are various injuries so what are the components of trauma kisi bhi trauma hone ke liye kya kya cheeze zaruri hai आपने मुझे ट्रामा करना है वट विल वट विल यू डू किस चीज से करना है वेपन एंड एंड द पर्सन टू होम यू आर गोइंग टू इनफ्लिक्ट ये भी दो हो गई फिर ट्रामा इज नॉट अकर्ड येट action the force the movement so these are the components the object the subject and the movement they are the main components of the trauma the object which is the weapon anything can be object jo bhi aapke aas paas cheez padi hai everything is an object becomes a weapon when you physically apply with force to another person मोबाइल है बुक है चेयर है एवरी थिंग दैट बिकम्स वेपन वेन यू अप्लाई विद फोर्स देन द सब्जेक्ट द टिश्यू द एरिया वेयर इट इज गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट अंडर नीथ बोन है अंडर नीथ सॉफ्ट टिश्यूज है एयर है सो दे विल चेंज द अपियरेंस ऑफ द बोन देन द कॉन्टैक्ट द फोर्स ए मूवमेंट विच विल be the contact so until unless these three factors are fulfilled the trauma will not occur the weapon the tissues and the force or the movement the application of force at the site <clears throat> so these are the three components and they will produce trauma so these are basically the factors these are the components and these are the factors which change the appearance of the bone because when we will study each component they will change the appearance of the bone and these factors change the appearance object subject and the contact now i'll explain how they change the weapon the tissues and the movement if any one of the factor is missing the trauma will not occur so the combination of all the three will result in trauma now we take as weapon every weapon has got intrinsic quality small hai wo heavy hai rounded hai sharp edged hai smooth hai angles hai so all these affects have to transfer to the tissues so there are intrinsic qualities within the weapon which is going to change the appearance of the wound so we study the intrinsic factors which is the intrinsic quality of the weapon then the amount of force because the same weapon with variation of the force can change the appearance for example a stick with very little force on the, at a same place will simply cause erythema when you go on increasing the amount of force it will cause laceration or fracture or even crush the area so simply by increasing the varying the force of applying with the same weapon at the same site can change the appearance of wound then the velocity velocity is the most important factor the bullet small piece of bullet does enormous damage than a brick brick is a huge mass then as compared to the bullet but the bullet does not produce as much trauma sorry the brick does not produce as much trauma as the bullet because of the velocity 
because we know the kinetic energy is directly proportional to half the mass and square root of the velocity. That's why a small bullet concentrating at a single point does enormous damage. And the damage is not limited only to the point of contact, but the pressure wave, the shock waves, the energy which has been imparted to the tissue. The tissue started starts traveling with the same speed and a big cavity is produced with the bullet at the, in the track. So that's why the velocity is most important factor in the causation of you. The last line mein aapko kya ho hai? Come down, aap dono. <clears throat> no study the intrinsic qualities of the weapon. <clears throat> Every object have got certain intrinsic characteristics. It can be regarding its weight, mass, regarding its surface, which may be smooth or the rough, shape, margins, angles. So all these factors are the intrinsic factors within the weapon that can change the appearance of the wound. So these intrinsic qualities, they make a weapon either blunt weapon, a sharp edge weapon or a firearm. So the wound produced as a result will show so much variation when we change the factors. They will change the appearance and we, we cannot predict how much variation, how much variation in shape and size will produce a weapon because the movement, the force, the uh, surface, the intrinsic quality, that will determine the amount of damage. And exception, as I've told you, is the blast injury, because there is no physical contact, but the blast waves which are traveling circumferentially, they are so intelligent that they turn from the edge of the building, they turn around, they can change their pathway, but they are traveling at a tremendous speed and with tremendous force that they pass through the body unknowingly. collapses. Bodies, when we were performing and the blasts were happening in Lahore, the many casualties were coming to the King Edward Medical College. Though in the word Punjabi we can say that under body halwa bani hoti. All the organs they are crushed. We cannot identify the organ. The shock waves they pass through the body with such a pressure that they crush and lacerate the tissues. <clears throat> and this is because of the pressure waves, shock waves. Now when we talk about the blunt weapon, the blunt weapon can be a brick, a stone, or any object having the blunt surface that is called a blunt weapon. So all these are blunt weapons. And the impact is wider. In the blunt, the impact is wider. So that's why the amount of energy dissipated to the tissues per unit is less as compared to sharp edge or the bullet because they are concentrating the energy at a single edge or a single point. But the blunt weapon, they are dissipating the energy in a wider area. So the amount of energy liberated per unit is less as compared to sharp edge weapon. So that's why they produce lacerated wounds, bruise or abrasions because they will crush, they will rub, abrade. So that's why these injuries are because of the blunt weapon. So this is laceration, this is bruise and this is abrasion. And this is the sharp edge weapon. In sharp edge weapon, the whole energy is being transmitted 
on a single edge or a single point if it is dragged on the surface the whole energy is on the edge and the uh, uh, damage produced will be incised wound that will be more in length and less in depth whereas the if the energy is dissipated on a point it is thrusted into the body the depth is more than the width so that will produce the stab wound so all the sharp edge weapon they have an edge or a point and the manner how it is inflicted if it is inflicted as per tip or as per edge that will produce the incised wound like this and a stab wound this was this is the incised wound and the previous one was the stab wound now the firearm firearm as i've told you is called a special type of trauma because in the case or in the compartment there is gun powder primer gun powder or in smooth bore weapon there is wad also then the bullet or the pellets and depending upon the range that is the distance from the victim and the assailant there will be flame the flame is being emitted from the tip up to few inches and that is causing the burns then hot gases they are so hot that they will burn the clothes the tissues hairs will be singed and then the pressure waves then the gun powder is also traveling completely burnt partially burnt and unburnt it is also traveling completely burnt will produce smoke and it will soil the surface causing blackening and the unburnt coarse particles they embed into the skin tattooing so all types of then if it is enters into the body an entry wound and exit wound and a track through which it passes so it's a special trauma firearms is classed as special trauma because it has a wider range of uh, impact because of its velocity a small bullet because of the high velocity produces enormous damage <clears throat> and the concentration is at a single point and it produces a special anti wound exit wound and a track in which through it travels in the body and it includes the whole traumatology it includes burns blackening tattooing abrasion laceration fractures and the damage or laceration of the tissues or the track through which it passes thank you